This is number three in a series of videos about Thornbury FM, a small community radio station in Thornbury, South Gloucestershire, in the southwest of England. Thornbury FM broadcasts for 28 days, twice a year, under a short-term restricted service license, SRSL. It started transmitting on 87.7 FM with simultaneous webcasting in autumn 2005 and its final broadcast under that name was its ninth in autumn 2009. This time I want to examine the station's attitude towards the local Asian community. If you have seen the second video in this series, then you will know that Thornbury FM's original constitution stated that it included all sections of a diverse community in its programming and ownership, that it provided access for the expression of different cultures and languages, that it was opposed to discrimination, and that it removed barriers to social understanding. South Gloucestershire has an officially recognised association for South Asians, the South Gloucestershire Asian Project, SGAP, which has been in existence since March 2000. Thornbury FM became aware of SGAP shortly before its second broadcast in spring 2006, because SGAP had then recently been given an office in the Chantry, a community centre in Thornbury. Coming next, the SGAP's position on working with other organisations. According to its own constitution, the SGAP wishes to work in partnership with local bodies for the betterment of the Asian community. So a clearly expressed desire to work together with other agencies in the area. And it does that. It has worked with South Gloucestershire Council on diversity matters, for example, as part of the Corporate Equalities Forum, CEF. You will observe that another member of the CEF is the South Gloucestershire Chinese Association, SGCA. The SGCA features in the next video in this series. It is important at this stage to point out that the chair of the CEF at that time was David Primrose, Vicar of Thornbury and Chair of Thornbury FM. The SGAP also took part in the re-established Thornbury Carnival in 2009. You may have noticed that from the second video in this series. What's more, it got mentioned specifically in the My Thornbury website, a site run by someone with a Thornbury FM connection. The Chinese also took part in the carnival, but only the SGAP got a specific mention in my Thornbury. This was possibly to make up for its unexplained absence from other parts of Thornbury life, as you will see later in this video. When it comes to community radio, the SGAP is keen to be on the airwaves. Not only that, but it had already produced programs that had been broadcast on community radio even before Thornbury FM was founded. This was also on a 28-day SRSL station called Commonwealth FM, which later merged into Bristol Community Radio Station BCFM. 
The two-hour program featured Bollywood music plus history and chat, and it took place on four Sundays in November 2004 at the then British Empire and Commonwealth Museum in Bristol. The program was hosted by Vijay Chandiramani, then a member of SGAP's management committee, with the help of two others. Now, if three members of the South Gloucestershire Asian Project had been prepared to travel into central Bristol to broadcast on a relatively obscure SRSL station, then don't you think that they would have been even more willing to broadcast on South Gloucestershire-based Thorn BFM? On the 8th of May 2006, Vijay Chandiramani was a guest on a regular weekday morning program on Thornbury FM. During that second broadcast period of the radio station, I presented a weekend world music program which was coming to an end, and had wanted to interview Vijay Chandiramani myself for an on-air talk about Asian music. That didn't happen, yet I, as a trustee of the station, had planned to invite him to host a show in future Thornbury FM broadcasts on behalf of the SGAP for the Asian community. Instead, he was interviewed on a Monday morning by another white presenter who, during the course of the program, made certain remarks which were later to be described officially as tasteless. See video 5 for more on this. The aging presenter, who was a trustee of the station, did not extend an invitation to this experienced Asian broadcaster to be part of the future programming of Thornbury FM. The previous month, in April 2006, Anita Lalani, a British Asian lady taking media and cultural studies at the University of the West of England, had inquired about volunteering with Thornbury FM. The station could have made practical use of this opportunity. This would have given her some hands-on airtime experience and helped Thornbury FM recruit a new volunteer presenter. However, Instead of ensuring that Anita's initial contact was maintained, communication with her lapsed and an enthusiastic UE volunteer was lost. But whilst the station was indifferent to an Asian female during the second broadcast, it had taken on a UE volunteer during its first broadcast and allowed him to present his own specialist music program. But he was a white male. <laughs> 